Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, will we ever be able to control the weather? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Weather control has been the dream of humans since, well, forever. And after hundreds of thousands of years, we're finally getting close to cracking it. So are we going to have a weather machine with lots of big light up buttons and laser beams and stuff? Sort of, eventually, maybe. Right now, things are still a little more primitive. We know, for example, that seeding clouds with tiny crystals of silver iodide can help to make it rain. It works by giving the rain droplets something to condense around. This method is far from reliable, but that didn't stop the Los Angeles Department of Public Works from paying half a million dollars to one Utah-based cloud seeding company this year in the hopes of easing their drought. Why are people always trying to make it rain? How about a machine that stops frickin' rain for a change? Well, the Chinese claim to have prevented rain during the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympic Games by firing 1,100 seeding rockets at clouds outside the city. They got the result they wanted, too. It rained elsewhere, but not actually over Beijing. Whether this was really down to the rockets, however, is up for debate. This all sounds pretty low-tech. I thought there were going to be lasers. There could well be. Jerome Kasparian from the University of Geneva in Switzerland recently created rain by using lasers to strip electron atoms from the air, leaving positively charged particles for rain to form around. He also claims that the same method can be used to draw lightning strikes away from populated areas. So far, however, while they've proved successful in a controlled laboratory setting, neither has been successfully applied in real-world conditions. Is there a way to stop really bad weather, like hurricanes? A study at the University of Stanford claims that offshore wind farms could help to tame hurricanes by effectively draining them of their power. They believe that a farm containing 78,000 50-foot turbines in the Gulf of Mexico could have reduced the impact of Hurricane Katrina on New Orleans by nearly 80%. The downside to that theory is that, according to other scientists, building a wind farm that big is pretty much impossible. This still doesn't really sound like we're controlling the weather. Not yet. But our technology is nearly advanced enough to build something called the whole weather machine. And that's where things get crazy. The idea is to launch a thin layer of tiny transparent balloons, each less than half an inch across, into the stratosphere, around 20 miles up, enveloping the whole planet. Each one would contain a directional mirror, allowing us total control over the amount of sunlight that reaches Earth, and, by association, almost complete control over global weather systems. The problem with this, as anyone who's ever seen a James Bond movie could tell you, is that the potential for this weather machine to be turned into a super weapon is very real, and very frightening. Oh no, I'm like so scared of a little rain! How about a machine that can set whole cities on fire from orbit, with the equivalent power of dropping a nuclear bomb every second? Uh, on an unrelated note, I, I think I need to go change my underwear. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.